Okay, hello and good morning. We're in week six. Now you should have a test coming up probably on Friday. So let's take a look here. Um, this is uh, chapter four. So this one right here, we're going to write twice. So you're going to put number one. And you're going to write it twice. And then you're going to use FOIL. So you're going to take this one to both of these. And then this one to both of these. Okay, so it's FOIL. So 3 times 3 is 9. A times A, you got to add your exponents, gives you A squared. A positive times a negative is a negative. 3A times B is 3AB. Now you go to the next one. A negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 3 is 6. A times B is AB. And then finally, a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 1 is 2. And B times B, you got to add your exponents, gives you B squared. This right here gives you a negative 9. So your final answer and you're done. Okay, make sure you can do that. This one right here, you have to distribute that negative sign. So a negative times a positive is going to make that a negative. And a negative times a negative is going to make that a positive. Remember, I want you to scratch the sign out and rewrite it. So 5x minus 3x is 2x. And then finally, a negative 2y and a positive 4y is a positive 2y. And that should be your answer. All right, on a new sheet of paper, I want you to try this one. And what you're doing here is... You're taking this to all three of these. And then you're taking this one to all three of these. So try that right now. All right, let's do it. Three times two is six. X1 times X2 is X3. Positive times a negative is a negative. X times X is X squared, so it's going to be 3X squared. This times this is going to be a positive 6X. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next one. Negative 2 times 2 is going to be a, po a negative 4x squared. We'll line it up with the x squared. Negative times a negative, that's two negatives, so that's a plus. 2 times x is 2x, and then finally a negative times a positive, so negative, and that's going to be a negative 4. So we're going to combine like terms, so it's 6x to the third minus 7x squared plus 8x minus 4. And that should be your answer. And that's how you do that. It's not hard. It's similar to FOIL. All right, this one right here is number 95. So you're going to first do FOIL. X times X is X squared plus X. Go to the next one, negative 4X. And then go to the last one, a negative 4. So this gives you a negative 3. So it's going to be x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to x squared minus 5, or plus 5. Now here, you have an x squared and an x squared, but you're going to subtract x squared from both sides, so that cancels. So now you're going to get negative 3x minus 4 is equal to 5. Now, let me just say that if it didn't cancel, you'd have to use something called the quadratic equation x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. And uh, chances are that's where we're going. We're going to add 4 here and get negative 3x equals 9. You're going to divide by negative 3. If this was an inequality, you'd have to change the direction of the inequality. One negative is a negative, and you're done. If you want to check it, you can plug it in and see if this side is equal to that side. A negative 3 times a negative 3 is 3 times 3 is 9, so that's 9. That should be 14. It should be 14 over here. And your work is right here. I want you to finish this right here. This right here is section 4.6. All right? And just remember, we're going to probably have a test this Friday. All right, let's go on now to geometry. Let's talk about this. Okay, in geometry, the test for Chapter 5 is still open. 
through tonight. If you fail to do it, you'll have to live with that zero until week nine. Okay. This one right here says write an equation perpendicular. Well, perpendicular, you got to take the slope and flip change. So move the negative to the top and then put flip change or negative reciprocal. When you change it, it becomes a plus, and when you flip it, you get 3 over 1, which is 3. So it's going to be y minus my y equals my slope, and then x minus my x. And that's it. That's point slope. But then they want you to do standard form, so you got to get y by itself. So you're going to distribute. This is a plus. So it's going to be y minus 3 is equal to 3x plus 6. Now you're going to add 3 to both sides. You get y equals 3x plus 9, and you're done. Make sure you know that. This is an EOC review. Here's another one. Um, are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, this one's your slope. So you got to get y by itself. So you want to subtract 7x from both sides. So you're going to get 3y is equal to negative 7x minus 6. You're going to divide by 3. And when you divide by 3, all you want is your slope. So there it is. So the first slope was 7 over 3. Now, if it was parallel, it would be the same slope. And it's not. So we know it's not parallel. To be perpendicular, you'd have to flip change. Well, change it would be a negative, and if you flip it, you get this. So if this one is negative 3 over 7, then it would be perpendicular. And it's not. So this one is not perpendicular. It must be neither. In other words, they must intersect, but they don't intersect perpendicular. Okay? So the lines are not parallel. They're not 90 degrees, but they do intersect. And there it is. Okay, EOC review. Let's talk about today's work. Put away your bell work. On a new sheet of paper, copy everything you see here. Everything you see. If you can't read something, uh, don't raise your hand. I will read it for you. Okay, so hang tight. All right, today is uh, 6.1 polygon angle sum theorem. This is the shell method. So let's take a look at this shell method. So draw a quadrilateral. So draw this figure right here. This happens to be a trapezoid. Draw that figure. Now these are called vertices. Write that down. Or vertex. Vertex is singular. Anyway, so let's stand at any of these points. Let's stand here and let's draw triangles. So from here to here, you get a triangle. And you know that every triangle is 180. So that triangle is 180, and that triangle is 180. So the whole thing is 360. So all of these interior angles add up to 360. Let's try the shell method on a pentagon, okay? Let's see if I can do that. And actually, what I'm thinking about is a hexagon. So we'll do a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. So pick a vertice and start drawing triangles. Notice that it looks like a shell. So you have four, triang four triangles, and each one's 180. And again, this is the shell method. Okay, so you have four triangles. So it's 4 times 180. Now there's a formula for this. Because let's say you have a dodecagon. And a dodecagon, if you know what that is, it's 12 sides. Well, there's no way you really want to try to draw something 12 sides and then do the shell method. So the formula is here. It's n minus 2 times 180. 180 represents a triangle. N represents the number of sides. Write that down. This is an EOC question. What does N represent? So since it has 12 sides, it's going to be 12 minus 2 times 180. Okay. So in this case, you get 10 sides, or 10 triangles, rather. And when you multiply by 10, you just add a 0. So on this one, it's going to be 1,800 degrees. Okay, and that's how you do that. And uh, let me just show you this one. This one had six sides, so it's 6 minus 2 times 180 using the formula. And that gives you four triangles, which is what we had using the shell method. 
Okay, so I want you to know both ways, the shell method and definitely the formula. So put a star by that. All right, so let's work one here. And uh, let's go over these. A triangle is three sides. If you say rectangle, you're going to miss it. It's called a quadrilateral. That's four sides. Pentagon, hexagon, septagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, uh, hendecagon is 11, and dodeca is 12. All right, there they are. And that's all we're going to concern ourselves with. If you want to look up other ones, go ahead. The exterior angle theorem says that all exterior angles add up to 360. So take a look here. Draw this diagram. Okay, these are interior angles. We don't want those. We want the exterior. Exterior is on the outside. Anyway, so this line is 180. So if this is 90, this exterior is 90. And this one's 90. Because 90 plus 90 is 180. Anyhow, what we're going to do here is add up all of these and set them equal to 360. Because all exterior angles, put a star by that, add up to 360. In any event, you're going to have 90 and 90, so that's 180. We can add that up. We'll call this one plus angle 1, plus angle 2, plus angle 3 is equal to 360. Okay? That's what we're doing here. Now the question is, um, how are we going to get this? Well, what you're going to do here is, you're going to take this line right here. This line is 180. All right. So if this is 90, um, I'm not sure that we can figure out this one right here. So we're kind of lost here. Um, really, all you can do is subtract 180 on this one. You can do that. So you can say that angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 add up to 180. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 180. That's really all you can do because we don't know if these are equal. If they are equal then we could finish it up. All right we'll try another one. Draw this this one right here. Now this one not right here is not regular. Let me talk about regular a minute. Let's go back up here. A regular polygon means all the sides are equal. All sides are congruent, and all angles are congruent. That's regular, okay? Like a stop sign. Let's try that one. Stop sign has eight sides. It's an octagon. It looks like this. So draw this diagram, okay? And uh, maybe you can draw one a little better than that. But this one isn't too bad. So all of these are equal. It's regular. Since they're all the same, you can use your formula. N minus 2 times 180. Um, there's 8 sides, so it's 8 minus 2 times 180. So that's 6 triangles is what you have here. And every triangle is worth 180. Let's see what that is. So 180, clear it out. 180 times 6. Okay, make sure your calculator's out. So all interior angles on this one add up to 1,080 degrees. And since they're all equal, you can divide by 8. So divide by 8, and each one is worth 135. Now, if they were not all equal, then you couldn't find them like we did on the last one. We couldn't find them. Okay, so regular is real important. Um, put a star by that. All the sides are equal, and all the angles are equal. All right, let's finish this thing up. On this last one right here, these are interior angles. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five sides. So it's five minus two times 180. That gives you three triangles if you do the shell method. So three times 180, I think, is 540. So 180 times three is 540. So all of these add up to 540 degrees. So you're going to add up your axis. 3x and 7x is 10, and then 6x and 6x is 12x, so that gives you 22x. So 22x, and then uh, 12 uh, plus 4 is 16, and this is a negative 6. So 16 minus 6 is 10, so that gives you plus 10. All right, so now you're going to go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides. 
and get 22x is equal to 530 degrees. And then you're going to divide by 22. I don't know that it goes evenly, so 530 divided by 22. All right, I don't get it evenly, so I'm going to say approximately 24.1 degrees, all right, is what x is. And that's how you do that. They all add up to um, whatever it is, n minus 2 times 180. All right, here's your assignment for today, and I'll work with you. All right, good luck, and have a good morning.